In this video, we'll be installing the front catalytic converter in this 2007 Mazda CX-9. So before we go into the vehicle, we'll go ahead and remove our O2 sensor plugs. So now we're going to remove our engine cover. To do that, we're going to need to open or remove our oil fill cap. I'm just going to twist that, take that out, set it aside. I'm going to grab a hold of your engine cover, pull it straight up. Now on the back side, it'll be held in place by two grommets and two pins. Once you have that off, you can go ahead and put your oil cap back on. And set your engine cover aside. Now our top O2 sensor is right here with this gray plug. We'll remove the O2 sensor portion of that plug. So now our lowest O2 sensor on our front catalytic converter is here on this blue plug. So we'll go ahead and disconnect that. There's going to be a little tab at the bottom. We're going to use a pick tool to try and get into that tab. So now underneath the vehicle, if you find your oil filter directly next to that, it'll be your exhaust where it mounts up to your front catalytic converter. Here's going to be 15 millimeter nuts. We'll go ahead and remove those. Now if you follow that pipe straight back, you'll find where it wise and shoots up towards the vehicle to your rear catalytic converter. Again, 15 millimeter nuts. We'll remove those. So now if you follow that U straight over, we're going to get these two nuts here facing the rear. But we're also going to take this flange that came down and we're just going to tie it back up real quick with one of the nuts we took off, just a couple of threads to hold it out of our way here. And again, these are 15 mil as well. Now we can take that nut back off here. Now you'll notice the whole front section of your exhaust here is free and loose. You still should have your exhaust right by your flex pipe held in place by a few hangers, but it will want to drop a little bit. We'll take this nut down and we're going to remove this front section of pipe. Pull it off of our front catalytic converter, let the flex pipe hang down a little, and pull the rear section off. Now you don't want to let your rear section just free hang. You don't want to do any damage to your flex pipe. So we will end up putting a hanger here to hold this up. So what we'll do now is take a bungee, put it up around our drive shaft. and tie our exhaust up. Now underneath our front catalytic converter, we have a bracket here holding it to our transmission housing. It's gonna be two 14 millimeter bolts. We'll remove those. And the second one right up in here. And while we're right here, go ahead and take off this gasket.
Okay, we have an O2 sensor directly below one of our bolts, kind of impeding our access to that bolt. So we're gonna remove our oxygen sensor here. We're gonna use a 7 8 or 22 millimeter oxygen sensor socket. Okay, now straight up, we're gonna have our four bolts. They're gonna be 15 millimeter. All right, so we have one more right in front here, right next to it. Okay, we're in straight up between your oil filter and catalytic converter, there's one more. And straight up between the catalytic converter and the block, behind the bracket, you'll find your last bolt. So now with all four bolts removed and our bracket free from the transmission housing, we can lower the entire assembly down. and with the heat shield right out of the vehicle. All right, so our bracket bolt can be a 10 millimeter. All right, now the other bracket on the other side, again, 10 millimeter. Separate our heat shield. Now we're going to work our heat shield off of our cap. All right, we've applied a little bit of heat to this nut. It's a 10 millimeter. There we go, that should allow us Remove that nut and take that heat shield right off. Let's go ahead and bend that open slightly. So now our new catalytic converter is slightly thinner than the old one. So we will be reusing the old bracket in the old heat shield, but to make that heat shield fit right here, the new catalytic converter comes with spacers. 
Okay, so I'm going to take the old heat shield. Slide it over the new catalytic converter and line up the O2 sensor. Move loosely. Put the bolt back on down here. Line up that O2 sensor again. And we'll put in one spacer on one side. And we'll hold it tight to the catalytic converter here. We'll take our next spacer, put that in position, hold that together. Okay, now we can introduce our bracket. And together, clamping down, holding that spacer in place. Okay, so hold it together with one hand. We'll thread one of our bolts through. and the other side. And then we'll come back, clamp these down. Just want to make sure that our spacers are even and not offset. Again, make sure we're lined up with our oxygen sensor. We're a little low. We'll slide that up. Center in that oxygen sensor. And then the last nut we have to tighten up is right here. All right, so now let's put this unit back on the vise so we can install the upper gasket. All right, so now our upper gasket came with a couple little dings in it. So we needed to straighten this out just a little bit, but this will sit right in top of your catalytic converter should just drop right in. Ours just needs a little bit of help because it did come a little deformed. Once you get it down into that groove, we're gonna take just a small hammer and some light taps just to make sure it is down all the way in that groove. Okay, and your catalytic converter should come with a new gasket for the bottom side. We'll set this aside. Now we're ready to go to the vehicle. So now we're going to raise our catalytic converter up into place. We're going to align our four bolts on the top flange. Press it all the way up. So while we have it up, we are going to thread on one of our nuts. A 
We're going to snug this up. We'll put one more. Just a cross on the back side to hold this in place. Straight up beside the oil filter, there's one more. Now on the opposite side of that one, we have our last nut. As soon as we get this snugged up, we'll torque them all down. All right, now with all four nuts threaded on, we're gonna come back, we're gonna to torque them all down to 30 foot-pounds. So now on our bracket to our transmission housing here, we can reinstall our bolts. And go ahead and tighten these down. All right, before we fully snug that up and tighten that down, we'll get the other one pretty tight. Okay. Tighten these down. So now we're going to put our O2 sensor back in, put just a little bit of anti-seize on the threads, and we'll just tighten it in by hand. And we'll come back with our oxygen sensor socket and torque it down. And we'll 
torque our O2 sensor down to 30 foot-pounds. Now we can take our plug, put it right back up in, and plugged back into our blue plug up top. So now your new catalytic converter is going to come with two new nuts and a new gasket. We're going to put our new gasket in place. And we're going to raise our front pipe up into position. And we're going to thread on our two nuts. Now these are locking nuts, so we'll only be able to thread them on so far by hand, which is okay. So we'll get this all hanging loosely and we'll come back and tighten it all down. So now we're going to remove the old gasket that's left behind. Now this is the pipe that goes to the rear of the vehicle to our flex pipe. Right, so we're going to put our gasket in place. We're going to take our flex pipe and made it up to our front pipe. Now to get these two to bolt together, you need to push it upwards. And we can take our two bolts or our two nuts. And now we'll tighten these down. All right, now that our front pipe is bolted to our flex pipe in the back, we can take down these nuts, basically just using our front cat as a holder for this pipe as an extra set of hands. We now take this pipe, slide it back and down off of these two studs. And this will allow us to now put our gasket on our rear catalytic converter. Okay, so now looking at our rear catalytic converter, we have a new gasket. We're going to sit this up onto the piece of pipe that sticks out of the bottom of the flange. And we're going to bring our exhaust pipe up to it. Now you may have to fiddle with this just a little bit. But as you're bringing this pipe up, you're also bringing the front back up to those two studs. So you're going to do both rear and front at the same time. What you're also going to want to do is make sure that your front section is up as far as you can get it and as close to the cat flange as you can get it. There's a little gap there, so we'll push that all the way up in. If you want to, you can thread one or both of your nuts on. Again, they're locking nuts. They'll only thread on so far by hand. And now you can see we're just a little bit closer on the rear cat. And again, we'll come back with a pry bar and see if we can just move that cat slightly back to line up with that pipe. And you may have to pull down a little bit on the pipe. Okay, so now that you have your rear gasket seated and your pipe matched up to it, the gasket looks even all the way around. Looks pretty good. We can now take this back flange, the bottom flange here, move it all the way up and start to put our bolts back on.
Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and tighten these up. And we're going to go back and forth, tighten them up evenly. Good. And now we're back to the front. We have one nut still on there. Go ahead and put the other one on. And we'll tighten them down. And go ahead and connect your top O2 sensor. So now to replace our engine cover, we need to remove our oil fill cap. Spin that right out. We can set this aside. To take our engine cover, we're looking for our two little knobs here. We're going to line them up into that intake we just installed. Easiest thing to do is line up your oil fill in the hole here. It'll put you really close. And give it a little tap down there, one in the bottom corner. Then you can go ahead and reinstall your oil fill cap. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.